download my ielts partner and get your dreams realized let us peep into the quick tips for writing all right when it comes to task 1 writing there are a few rules you need to pay attention to first of all task 1 requires 150 words minimum don't spend more than 20 minutes on task 1 which is for general letter writing and for academic data representation keep a track of your time so that you don't make this mistake you need 40 minutes for task 2 always write over 150 words for task 1 and over 250 words for task 2 ielts have a set of tasks of writing over 150 words for ielts writing task 1 and 250 for writing task 2 however there is no upper word limit you will receive a penalty for writing under the word count you probably need to write at least 200 or 210 words to get a high score 7.5 to 8 don't count the number of words count the lines and estimate your word count so what is the recommended length of an ielts essay always write over the word count the examiner will check and count all your words aim for around 170 to 190 for writing task 1 and about 270 to 290 for writing task 2 this will mean you are safely over the word limit but without adding too much irrelevant information don't write too much aim for quality rather than quantity this means focus on writing excellent english and organizing your information rather than writing a long essay You will not receive a high score for a longer essay in IELTS. Examiners look for highly relevant, focused essay. You get more points for being focused and concise. If you copy the information given by IELTS for your introduction, the examiner will not count those words. This means you might be under the word count. So always paraphrase your introduction. since you won't have time to count each word you have written you should count the lines instead knowing the length of your handwriting on the official writing answer sheet helps you can plan your essay on the question paper no extra paper is given for planning the examiner will not look at your planning only your essay always write a clear overview for task 1 academic For general test task 1 make sure you cover all points requested in your letter always write your conclusion for task 2 never miss it out if you have 3 minutes left use it to write your conclusions always organize your writing for both tasks into body paragraphs check your spelling you can use either american or british spelling keep all information focused and relevant more does not mean better if you run out of paper raise your hand and you can get more do not remove any paper from the exam room under any circumstances while the skill is difficult to self study it isn't impossible You needn't go to an English center where there are teachers to check your writing with our app we make it relaxed for you Here are some suggestions I can think of that you could implement in improving your writing skills. Do your best and you will be fine. One, before writing an essay, you must know its basic structure: introduction, overview, and two paragraph. The overview must begin with a linking word. Overall and provide a general summary of the chart with all the key elements of the chart is about do task 2 first which is essay writing because it's worth more marks and is easier 
Task 1 general is letter and in academic we have data representation. Don't waste too much time on task 1. Learn all the specific writing structure for each type of task 1. In the real test, you just have to apply that structure with new data and suitable verb tenses. Read sample essays and take note of the ones with good structure to have a wide range of academic structures for task 1. Some structures might be used in task 2 as well. You must complete both tasks. You must complete your test at any cost. If you don't, you will be penalized. 5. Again, practice writing. Do both tasks in one hour. You can focus only on task 1 or task 2. But before the test, you should practice writing both tasks to get familiar with time limits. 6. Practice makes perfect. In writing, this statement is completely true but it is better if there is someone to check your writing for you and therefore you can learn from your mistakes. 7. Writing requires wide academic vocabulary. You also have to buy a dictionary to work on and enrich your vocabulary. A thesaurus can help in learning the synonyms of most widely used words to enhance your writing. Avoid all informal ways of writing. There are some rules of writing you should follow. For example, no abbreviations, no first and second pronoun or possessive. I, you, me, my, your. Except in conclusion where you have to state your opinion. 9. Each body paragraph has to include the topic sentence, supporting sentences, two to three sentences, development sentences like evidence, example, experiences, data. In many languages, English included, there are many ways to develop a body paragraph which results in a situation where that topic sentence is not the first sentence. But you are advised to put the topic sentence at the beginning of each body paragraph. Don't be creative in this case. That is all I can think of. I hope you will be lucky in your exam and what I said will help you in one way or another. But remember, to reach success, you must make an effort. You should have a clear motivation and a strong will to overcome difficulties. We may get thoroughly exhausted doing practice tests, but no success comes easily. Practice is the only way to gain success. Don't just wait for a lucky break. It will never come if you don't know how to grab it. And the final point I want to stress on is, relax before the test. Attempting to do one or two practice tests before the real test won't help you to increase your score. On the contrary, it will make you feel stressed and less confident. In brief, you must relax before any tests. Forget about them to relax and believe in yourself. Thus, with this, we have covered all the topics that were named in the beginning of the session. We saw the types of question in writing module, the marking criteria, effective sentence structure to be used to secure a 8-band score, and tips and tricks to crack the session. Until then, thank you and bye.